after we get a call from Tim Bradley telling us that Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk is off. I just know this game. I know this sport. I know the guys in this sport. I didn't think it would be because of a cut or anything like that, but I knew this fight would not happen, especially on the date it was being told. Sean Porter called it. It went down exactly how he thought it would. After Usyk and Fury got postponed, Sean Porter annihilates Fury's commitment. Now, before we unravel the juicy rumors and insider info, let's rewind a bit to what some folks were saying before this bombshell. Back in January, former WBC welterweight champion Sean Porter had some words of doubt about Tyson Fury. During an interview with ProBox TV, Porter said, I think that a fighter will get to a point where they see the hardest night ahead of them, and they're like, man, I just had so many of those hard nights, I am not going to have that hard night. Translation? Porter had doubts about Fury's commitment to the fight. He believed Fury might step back if things got too tough during training. Fast forward to today, and Porter's words seem eerily prophetic now that the fight is postponed. Now before we unravel the juicy rumors and insider info, let's rewind a bit to what some folks were saying before this bombshell. So here's the deal, in case you've been living under a rock. Tyson Fury, the man with a personality as big as his fists, was all set to face off against Oleksandr Usyk in a battle that would have determined the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis back in 1999. But hold on to your hats, folks. Tyson Fury had to postpone the clash, and the reason is as shocking as his antics in and out of the ring. He reportedly got himself injured during sparring. Yep, you heard it right. The guy who's known for his trash talk and showmanship found himself on the wrong side of fate. Francis straight up called Tyson out for being checked pre-fight for cheating. Hope that we have a right commission, the right people who does their job and check those gloves. But wait, there's more. Another former champ, Carl Frosch, decided to chime in on this whole saga. He did it in style right on his YouTube channel. Frosch wasn't buying into the Fury hype either. He pointed out that Fury's got a big family, a wife, and seven kids. Now who wants to be hitting the gym over the holidays with that kind of crew at home? Frosch had his doubts, saying, is he going to want to be training over Christmas and New Year, which he's going to have to do if he's going to be ready for the February event? I'm not so sure. I've got a feeling that fight might get pushed back until March. You heard it here first. Well, guess what, folks? Frock wasn't just blowing hot air. His skepticism seems spot on now that the fight is delayed. Now here's where the rumor mill kicks into high gear. With Tyson Fury's bout on the back burner, word on the street is that Filip Hergovic might step in as a late replacement to face Usyk on the scheduled date of February 17. The boxing world is buzzing with anticipation as we wait for official confirmation on this one. But oh boy, it doesn't stop there. Some folks are whispering that Fury might have faked his injury to avoid facing Usyk. Even Oleksandr Usyk's manager, Igis Klimas, entertained this wild idea. But let me tell you, boxing promoter Eddie Hearn wasn't having any of it. He stood up for Fury, defending him against these unfounded accusations. Hearn's got a reputation for being candid, so when he speaks, people tend to listen. So, here we are folks, in what could be one of the most significant years for heavyweight boxing. Tyson Fury was set to take on Oleksandr Usyk, and Anthony Joshua, another British heavyweight sensation, was scheduled to face former UFC champ Francis. And let me tell you, Eddie Hearn, the man behind the scenes, is stirring up quite the storm. Let's talk about these upcoming battles. On February 17th, Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk were supposed to duke it out in Saudi Arabia for the undisputed heavyweight title. It would have been a momentous occasion, the first time since Lennox Lewis in 99 that we'd see an undisputed heavyweight champ. But wait, there's more. Anthony Joshua and Francis were set to throw down on March 8th, also in Saudi Arabia. Talk about heavyweight spectacle, right? Now here's where it gets real interesting. Eddie Hearn, the man with a plan, has hinted at something massive. He's saying that the winners of these two fights could end up facing each other. Yeah, you heard it right. We're talking about the potential for the biggest boxing match in the history of the sport, according to Hearn himself. Talk about setting the bar high. Now, Eddie Hearn has been catching some flack for arranging the Joshua versus Francis fight. Former heavyweight champ Lennox Lewis called it a gimmick fight at first, but Hearn's been defending his decision. He's been pointing to Francis's impressive showing against Tyson Fury in October 2023. The man dropped Fury and nearly beat him. So, 
Hearn argues. Francis deserves his shot at the top, but that's not all. Hearn has been dreaming big. He's thinking about the winners of these fights squaring off. He said, so we get a straight shot at Undisputed. And if Fury beats Usyk, which I hope he does, and we beat Francis, you've got self-made the biggest fight arguably in the history of the sport. That's some bold talk right there. But hey, in the world of boxing, we've seen crazier things happen. Now let's switch gears for a moment. Remember Deontay Wilder, the man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tyson Fury three times in a legendary trilogy? Well, he's got something to say about the Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Usyk showdown. Wilder believes it's a 50-50 fight. Yep, you heard me right. Fury's size is what make him, what makes him, I think, gain more success and stuff like that. When I see him and Usyk, I see how he, uh, how they uh, uh, cheated Cunningham with that club and he laid his weight on him. And He's not buying into the whole size advantage thing. Wilder thinks Usyk can adapt to Fury's towering stature. He thinks it's going to be a competitive and closely contested affair. And you know what? He might be on to something. That's the beauty of heavyweight boxing, folks. Anything can happen. So, as we eagerly await the outcomes of these epic clashes, the possibility of a historic showdown between the winners is looming large. Picture this. Tyson Fury takes down Usyk, and Anthony Joshua handles Francis. The stage would be set for an epic encounter, one that could rewrite the record books. I don't know about you, but the idea of an undisputed heavyweight champ facing off against another top-tier contender gets my blood pumping. Eddie Hearn's vision of this colossal showdown is something we've all been dreaming of. The heavyweight division is experiencing a resurgence, and these fights are breathing new life into the sport. The winners won't just be taking home championship titles. They'll be etching their names in the annals of boxing history. So, as February 17th and March 8th draw nearer, we're all holding our breath eager to witness the drama unfold. Will we see the biggest fight ever? Who knows? But just the possibility is enough to send shockwaves through the boxing world. But wait, there's more to this story. The video of Tyson Fury's injury and the subsequent cancellation of the fight led to some major fan backlash. People were quick to criticize the video's quality, questioning the timing and authenticity of the footage. Some even called it karma. One of the fans speculated, the video doesn't actually show conclusively that he was cut at that very moment by that rather peculiar elbow strike. Why is the video quality so low? Even the cheapest modern day phones record in 1080p clearer quality than that. Initially set for February 17th, the much anticipated showdown had to be delayed because Fury sustained a nasty cut during sparring, putting the entire boxing world on hold. But here's the kicker. This fight isn't just any ordinary heavyweight clash. It's set to crown the first undisputed heavyweight champion in the four belt era, making it a monumental moment in the world of boxing. But wait, there's more to this story. In a surprising turn of events, just as it seemed like Filip Hergovic might step in as a replacement for Fury, Saudi Arabian organizers and Team Fury sprang into action, securing a new date for the fight in record time. So mark your calendars for May 18th and let the countdown to this historic showdown begin. So. There you have it, folks. The controversy surrounding the injury and the rescheduling only adds more intrigue to an already spicy storyline. Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk have agreed on a new date for their bout, May 18th, but let's not forget, there's a $10 million fine hanging over their heads if they ask for another postponement. As we await the rescheduled clash, one thing's for sure, this roller coaster ride is far from over. The world of boxing is a wild one, and we're all just along for the thrilling, unpredictable journey. Stay tuned, because you won't believe what happens next.